How capable is your language of turning programs into data? This ability is called reflectiveness, and the more reflective your language, the more capable it is of metaprogramming. Metaprogramming is when programs write other programs. An example would be a block, which is a piece of code that can be stored in a variable. Another metaprogramming tool is the pragma, also called the method annotation. Pragmas are those things at the top of methods and angle brackets and they contain a selector and some data, an argument. And you can find the selector with the method finder, just like any other selector. And they're used for primitives and um, all kinds of uses, like setting preferences. It's always the same. It's angle brackets with a selector and then actual arguments. So if you can see preference, category, description, type, and then arguments for each of those. So it's like half of a message. It's a selector with arguments looking for a receiver. And it can be passed around, as we'll see in a sec. Okay, here's a uh, pragma editor, blinking cursor, garden variety preferences pragma. So this is how it's going to break down. Editor class compiled method at blinking cursor. We're going to create a compiled method, which is how pragmas travel. So there's the compiled method. No big deal. And then when the message pragmas get sent to the compiled method, uh, the system is asking the compiler or the parser, do you have any pragmas? Do we need to act on anything here? So if you go to preferences, you can see pref event. And the question will get asked, method pragmas. Do you have any pragmas, Mr. Compiled Methods? And it says, well, yes, we do. And this is what we're going to do with them. Preference, category, description, type. Pragma argument first, pragma argument second, yada, yada, yada. So you can see that they kind of travel in a compiled method until they get pulled out and used somewhere else. And there's self. That's the receiver that the pragma, which is half of a message, is looking for. Here's parser. It has a whole section for pragmas. We go to pragma primitives. We can see properties pragmas. Do you have any pragmas? If you do, please declare them now. And so once it collects the primitives, which are pragmas, used by pragmas, right? It says, okay, self, parser, perform the primitives. So every time one of those primitives in a pragma gets executed, it's coming here to get performed by parser and the message perform. And with the introduction of metaprogramming, this series is now on hiatus.